Did you know that the nation's first active adult retirement community started in Arizona? So it's no surprise that Arizona always tops the list of best places to retire for seniors and soon to be retirees. In this two part video, we're going to be discussing the pros and cons of retiring to Arizona. So if you'd like to learn more, stay tuned. Hey there, my name is Chichi Aguaji. I'm a New York based realtor with a focus on helping seniors and retirees sell their homes and find the best locations to retire. In part one of this video, I'm going to be discussing the pros of retiring to Arizona. So with that, let's get into it. Number one, low cost of living. Although the cost of living in Arizona is on par with the national average, it's much lower than higher cost of living states like California or New York. So residents of these states tend to flock to Arizona in retirement. The cost of living in Arizona is about a third of the cost of living in states like California or New York, which means that your money goes much further in Arizona in retirement. So the grocery costs in Arizona are 4% below the national average. Healthcare costs are 3% below the national average, and utilities and transportation costs are hovering right around the national average. And although housing costs in Arizona are 19% higher than the national average, you can still get a five bed, three bathroom home, that's 2,100 square feet, for just under $400,000, in Phoenix. One thing to note, however, is as more and more residents from California and New York flock to the state of Arizona, this is eventually going to cause the cost of living in Arizona to rise. In fact, the state of Arizona saw the second highest home property price appreciation across all the states from 2021 to 2022 of 27.5%. So you can expect that if this pattern were to continue, these increased costs will likely trickle out to other expenses as well. Number two, lower taxes. Another benefit of retiring to Arizona is you'll experience lower taxes. Arizona does not tax social security income. It doesn't tax any military retirement income. It stopped levying an inheritance tax in 2006. And it also does not carry an estate tax. Arizona also has one of the lowest effective property tax rates in the country and this is mainly due to the fact that the state has a law that places a cap on property taxes for owner-occupied residences. So according to the Tax Foundation, Arizona had an effective tax rate of 0.6% in calendar year 2021, making it the 11th lowest property tax rate in the country. Although there still are some downsides with respect to taxes in Arizona. So for one, Arizona does levy taxes on 401k distributions as well as pension distributions. And the state taxes these distributions as regular income. Tax rates in Arizona do range from 2.59% to 4.5%. And then there's an additional surtax of 3.5% if your retirement income exceeds $500,000. So when it comes to sales tax rates, Arizona does have a, st a state sales tax rate of 5.6%. However, cities and counties in the state of Arizona can opt into whether or not they wanna charge an additional sales tax on top of this state 5.6% rate. So this can actually cause you to get creative when you're finding out the best place for you to retire in Arizona, because you can actually choose to purchase a home and retire in a county that does charge a sales tax. However, you can live close enough to a city or a county that does not charge sales tax so you can do your grocery shopping there. Number three, outdoor activities. Now, if you are someone who enjoys hiking, camping, rock climbing, or nature walks, then Arizona could feel like the perfect oasis for you. The state allows you access to skiing, off-roading, boating, fishing, and there's the Grand Canyon, of course, and there's also plenty of access to national parks within driving distance in the, the Southwest. And if you happen to be an avid golfer, then Arizona could be a dream destination because golf is a major draw for a lot of retirees to the state. Arizona has upwards of 370 golf courses, with Scottsdale and Phoenix being the state's most golf-rich locations. In fact, Phoenix has upwards of 200 golfing locations in that city alone. Now, one of the reasons that Arizona is a perfect golf retirement location is its weather. So Arizona's warm weather coupled with its low humidity 
makes it so that you can play golf all year round without having to worry about whether it's going to snow, whether it's going to rain. And now if you enjoy being more of a spectator of the sport than you do actually playing the sport, the Waste Management PGA Open is held every year in Scottsdale. Now, if you're visiting Arizona or you would like to visit Arizona and you want to test out a few golf courses, I would recommend the Chiricahua Golf Course in Scottsdale, as well as the Desert Forest Golf Course in Carefree, both of which are considered to be two of Arizona's best golf courses. Number four, access to great healthcare. Now, according to the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, Arizona's healthcare system is, re is regarded as one of the finest in the country for short and long-term residents of nursing homes, patients with hypertension or any kind of cardiovascular disease, as well as patients with cancer. So the state of Arizona is home to a long list of hospital campuses, and this includes the Mayer Clinic, Bena Medical System, as well as TMC Healthcare. Now, while most of the nationally ranked hospitals are located in Phoenix, you'll find TMC Healthcare in Tucson, the Abrazo Arrowhead Campus in Glendale, as well as Bena Boswell in Sun City. And if you're wondering, the number one hospital as ranked by the US News and World Report in Arizona is the Mayo Clinic, and it is ranked nationally for geriatrics, diabetes, cancer, as well as cardiology. So if you are enjoying the video so far, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, and let's keep going. Number five, weather. Now I'm gonna be discussing weather in two categories, the first being natural disasters, and the second being temperature and climate. So first things first, let's talk about natural disasters. So typically when you hear about natural disasters in the US, you hear about earthquakes or forest fires in the West, you'll hear about tornadoes in the Midwest, you'll hear about hurricanes in the Southeast, and you'll hear about blizzards and snowstorms in the Northeast. But one of the great things about retiring to Arizona is it's not known for natural disasters, which means that the chances that you're gonna have to vacate your home in retirement due to a natural disaster are slim to none. You likely won't have any snow to shovel and there's over 300 days of sunshine. But there is one caveat and that is temperature. So when it comes to temperature, while Northern Arizona is mildly seasonal, Southern Arizona only has two seasons and that's summer and hell. So it doesn't just get hot in Southern Arizona, it gets devilishly hot. So if you do decide to purchase a home in retirement in Southern Arizona, just make sure that you have covered parking for your car because the Arizona heat has a funny way of melting anything that's left out in the sun. From street signs to trash bags, it gets so hot in Arizona that you can literally bake biscuits from your car. And this is because temperatures can range between 90 and 120 degrees in the summer months. Now the Arizona heat is a dry heat, which means it has little to no humidity. So if you're someone with arthritis, this can actually work to your benefit because research shows that warmer, drier climates can help you to avoid any flare-ups which would trigger joint pain. Now after things heat up, you are able to cool off in Arizona's monsoon season, which runs from June to about the end of September. And this monsoon season is really filled with thunderstorms and potential flash floodings, but it does help to cool off the temperatures a bit more in the state. Number six, sports culture. One of the really cool things about Arizona is it has a dynamic sports scene. There are many professional sports teams in Arizona, including the Arizona Cardinals for football, the Phoenix Suns and the Phoenix Mercury for basketball, as well as the Arizona Coyotes for hockey. Now there are also four professional sports soccer teams in Arizona and they play for various leagues, however none yet for major league soccer. And of course baseball fans not only have the Diamondbacks, but you can also watch some of your favorite teams play in the Cactus League, which is the MLB spring training uh, for preseason for MLB baseball. And this consists of about 15 teams that play throughout the state of Arizona prior to the regular baseball season starting. Now, if you're interested in retiring to Arizona, you'd like more information about the state and more resources, feel free to click on the link below. I'd be happy to assist you. All right, that's it for this video, summarizing the pros of retiring to Arizona. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new and I hope to see you in the next one.